We are staying in front of the, what they call the Resort Shirakami Densha. Now, this train actually leaves from Higashi Noshiro JR Station. For, so, for those people who are fortunate enough to have the JR Rail Pass, this is included in the actual trip. Well, the great thing about boarding this train, however, is that this train not only has uh, public seats, but as you can see here, it also has its own private cars. These private cars you can actually reserve and are included in your JL Rail Pass if you do want to proceed. This is an amazing opportunity, as you can see. <gasps> we have the private box! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what is especially fascinating about riding these trains, especially in Japan, is that you have free access to see everything from the front, but also everything from behind as well. What is, good, what is also good about this particular train, and this particular area as well, is that this train line passes through the sea, the cliffs that line with the Sea of Japan. So we're going to reach a point within the next 30 minutes or so, where we're going to have some great views of the ocean. I'm looking forward to it indeed. Seeing the coastal line at the time is being able to have the train to slow down to absorb the views of the open sea gave me enough time to reflect on this journey. During this time, I expressed my many thanks and deep appreciation for the everyone who have kindly supported me from watching my videos to give me a platform to exemplify the richness the Japanese culture is. Before you know it, we arrived at a stop at Aomori Prefecture. Now, we departed from the actual party train at a place called Juni Ko Station. Now, from here, you can actually find the 12 lakes. Juni actually means uh, 12 in Japanese. Now, there's actually more than 12 lakes in this particular area, especially just by the mountainside of Shirakami Sanchi. Now, the reason why we actually mentioned 12 lakes is because you can only see those 12, pla those 12 lakes that are here. Now, we're about to do the experience, but just in front of us, or rather just right behind me, rather, is a store where you can actually purchase some goods before before you actually enter the facility. So, come and follow us. During this time, we noticed the rain clouds slowly creeping in, so we rushed to see the blue lake. Within easy access from Akitaken Prefecture by train, we've actually just arrived in Aomori uh, Prefecture. We're um, just standing right in front of the Aoi Get uh, pond. When you look at the pond itself, it's absolutely blue indeed. Obviously, if you look from a scientific perspective, the minerals that run through the water from the soil creates a blue illusion from this pond. But the great thing is, you can actually see how mineral rich this pond is. It's absolutely breathtaking indeed. Yeah, great. Perfect. If ever you find yourself catching the JR Gono line, it's good to drive back from Aomori to Akita so you can capture the views of the sunset. Japan is known as the land of the rising sun, but also we must remember that the setting of the sun is equally as spectacular. My name is Marvin, and thank you very much for watching.